channel. So today in this video we are going to learn that how to push a docker image to our docker hub account using Jenkins. So we are going to automate the whole docker process using Jenkins. So let's start. So before starting the video there are some prerequisites that should be done in a right way. So first prerequisite is that of course you have to have an application which you want to push to your docker hub account. Right, so this is my Python Flask app which I am going to use in this video. You can also use this app also. You can go to the URL here and you can clone it and you can use this. You can perform the steps with me. And if you are using your own application, then you have a Docker, you should have a Docker file and a Jenkins file there. So, if you don't know how to create Docker or Jenkins file, no need to worry. I'm going to also explain that that how to docker file and jenkins file so don't worry so the next prerequisite is that you need to have a docker hub account which is very much important because we are going to push our image on docker hub account so if you don't have a docker hub account go and quickly create it and save the credentials at a proper place so we are going to use that credentials in future so if you don't want to use docker or jenkins from your local system you can also create a virtual machine on any cloud you want and you can use it from there so for this video i have created a ec2 instance on our aws cloud so let's go there so this is our virtual machine which is already running and i have logged into it with ssh client right so for me i have already deployed my app on this server so let's check so this is my python app and if if you don't know that how to do that so you have to go to your git repository you have to copy your url from here and you have to clone your app on your ec2 instance terminal and your app will be there in few seconds right so there are also some requisites to run the app but you have to first of all install python it of course you have to clone so you also need git Right, so this are uh, this three are the prerequisites to run the app, which is Python pip and Git. So after that, you can run your app using Python three command, which is Python three, and your app name is app dot py. So for me, my application is already running, which is saying hello sc cloud hub. So these are the prerequisites that how to deploy your app and how to run your app from EC two instance. So next step is to install docker and jenkins on our ec2 instance if you don't want to install both of them on the same instance you can also create a new instance and install jenkins there but for me i have already installed docker and jenkins on the same instance you can do that also so if you don't know that how to install docker on a ec2 instance on the ec2 ubuntu instance go to the browser and type install docker engine and you will get the first link here you will get all the OS images here. Go to Ubuntu and use the commands which are given here, and Docker will be installed in few seconds. And if you don't know how to install Jenkins, then then we have already created a video that how to install Jenkins and set up Jenkins on our EC2 instance. Go there and set up Jenkins on our your EC2 instance, and continue with me on this journey. So before moving further, we need to provide our Docker Hub credentials in our Jenkins account. So I have already created credential for my Docker Hub account. If you don't know how to create it, let me show. In your dashboard, you need to go to manage Jenkins part. And in that, you need to go to the security part. And in security part, you need to go to manage credentials. So you can already see that I have already created my Docker Hub account credential. Right, so if you want to create, click on this global and you will be able to see a button here which is add credentials. You click on that and create a new credentials for you. Your username will be your Docker Hub, Hub account username and password will be the same to use in your Docker Hub account and ID would be your unique ID and description would be your name, right? So after filling all these fields, you can click on create and your credentials will be created. So for me, I have already created the credentials, right, for my Docker Hub account. So we are done with our credentials part. We have added our Docker Hub credentials into our Jenkins account. If you forget to provide your credentials here, then you will be not able to access your Docker Hub account from the Jenkins. So before starting anything or before building any job, you have to first create your credentials of your Docker Hub account. 
it after doing that then we are going to the next step which is where to build our job so let's go to new item on dashboard you will get your many different things right freestyle project pipeline we have many things here first of all let us name our project which is python app right and next we'll choose we are going to create a pipeline right so we are going to choose pipeline here and we'll click on ok after creating the project we are here for the configuration part we are going to conf configure our job as per our choice right there are many options available here so if you don't know that what are those options you can go to our previous videos and check it out in jenkins i have already explained each and every option in very detail so here i am going to select just the options that we need right so let's start let's go with the description first of all to write the description which is python app you can write anything you want okay so next thing is we are going to choose your advanced options and here also we are going to provide our app name which is python app and dog right so the very much important thing which we are going to do today is to create a pipeline here right so you can also give your your uh, jenkins file script here your pipeline script and you can also use the pipeline script for source code management right so there are two ways to provide your script right so the first way is that the very simple way that you will just have to go to your file and copy your code it is just a 29 lines code so it's not a big code right and just paste that code in your block which is given and this is called pipeline script you can only copy your code and paste it here if you want to do that if you don't want to do this if your pipeline is very big if you don't want to copy your and paste your code here then you can go you can go with the second part which is pipeline script from scm which is source code management so you have to push your jenkins files on github and you can use the file from there right you can create a pipeline from there the jenkins will catch up that file and use the file and create a pipeline for you so now let go and uh, see that what is actually there in our pipeline script let's understand our pipeline script what is saying and what it will create for us let's go to our github and understand our file so let's start with the pipeline so first of all we have the pipeline keyword and then next part is for agent so in master slave architecture in jenkins we create many agents and if you want to use a specific agent you can do that or else you can keep it any only then we have our environment variable part so here we are going to use our docker up credentials right so from name of our credential it will take our docker up credentials right in the variable so next are the stages the first stage is to build our docker image so in the first stage we have our docker build command right docker build tag we have uh, hyphen t and in the name part first of all on the first part you have to give your username of your docker hub account right you can see here for me it is vastraj so i have specified your vastraj so you have to do it accordingly and the name can be anything you want i have given your python app right so the first thing would should be your username and the next thing you can uh, write anything you want you can give the name anything you want and the tag we have given is build number right so if the build is 1 then the tag will be 1 if the build number is 2 the tag number will be right so here it goes and this is our first build command so in next stage we are going to use our docker hub yes we want to push our image to docker hub so first of all we need to log in so we get our credentials from the environment variable which is docker hub credentials right first of all we'll echo it <clears throat> then we'll log in into our docker hub account right and the last stage is to push our app on the docker hub account right uh, procedure for build and push will be same and the name of the image will be same right for the username and then our name which we have given and the build number so it will push our image to the docker hub account and last will log out right so these are the stages in which we have included in our jenkins file so now let's build our job let's go back to our jenkins and here we are not going to use a simple one we are not going to use this pipeline script we will use pipeline script for source code management right so click there and in scm part we are going to use of course git here we need to specify our repository url so let's go to the repository and copy our url from there 
and we'll go to the code part and copy our URL from there. We'll paste it here. Right, we are as it as, as this uh, repository is public, so we don't need to provide any credentials or anything. If you want to do so, you can do that. But as it is public, so we don't need at a time. That's fine. And we need to specify our branch, which is main branch. So let's see that this is our main branch, right? We have to specify here main branch. And then last part is the script part, right? The uh, name of your file, you have to specify your name of your Jenkins files. Let's go and check our Jenkins file name. So it is same as it is there in our pipeline code. So it is Jenkins file and there also it is Jenkins file. So it's right, right? Let's check again. We have used SCM, we have used Git, we have provided the URL, we have provided the branch. Right, and lastly, we have provided a script path. Okay, so now let's save and let's build our job. Wait, we'll show you. Now let's click on build now, then it will schedule our build. Okay, so the build is running. Let's wait till it gets completed. So as you can see that our build is successful now right this is our fifth build and in first build i got some error of permission denied so i had to add the jenkins user to the docker group let me show you the commands for the same so i had first of all added the group called docker right it already existed for me then i had added jenkins user to my docker group and then i had give, i had i gave permissions to the file with this command which is sudo chmod 777 and the file right so if you are getting the same errors that with this permission denied then you can use these three commands then your error will go the error will be solved right so now let's see our successful build here so first of all is declarative checkout through our source code management that we are given the path there of our url right it has checked it out checked out from our git account right file which we have created there is your right and then our first stage which is docker build, uh, build docker image docker image is going to be built in this stage so our second stage was this our first sorry our first stage was this which is docker build image so here the image is getting built right then we are going to log into our docker hub account right the next stage was to log into our docker hub account so it will logged in then we are pushing the image on our docker hub account right uh, the stage is docker push image right then lastly it is doing the declarative post actions so now let's go to our docker hub account and check that our image is pushed or not you can see that uh, the image is not here now let's refresh the page let's wait okay so you can see our app image here right this python app and it is pushed six minutes ago so this is the way you can uh, push the image through the pipelines so now let's go to our build and check our console output there right so our first stage was to build our image right so here it is the command that we have provided which is docker build uh, tag t our name and the tag which is fifth was our build number so it will take five because it is the fifth build we have done right so this is the build command and after build we'll log in to our docker hub account so here is the login part it has logged in in our docker hub account and then it will push our image right this is the third stage it is pushing our image to our docker hub account and lastly it will push it right it has pushed and then it will log out from the docker hub account your the success of our build stage now let's go to our docker hub account and click on our application on our image we have pushed so you are just showing us tag 5 and all the related details here os type pulled push right it is pushed 12 minutes ago and it is the it, it is given tag 5 as we have suggested build number to add there as a tag so it is 5 so the main reason behind to add the build number is if we again build our 
image or again be pushed then it will not give an error that the image is already built it will again push the error with the six tag so it will not have any common things in both the builds so it will not show us error let us do that thing let us go to our jenkins part and again say build now go to our build and say build now and it will not give any error because it will not uh, see any similar things in both the builds because the tags are different if the tag if we would have not specified our build number there then it will it will give us error that the build is build already exists exists so it will give us an error like that so as we have specified our build number then there we will not get any error here uh, sixth build is also successful right now let's go and refresh here also we'll be able to see the sixth tag here also yeah you can see here uh, it is pushed a few seconds ago and the tag number is six so this is how you can push your image to your docker app account through pipe which is fully all automated and that's all for the video thank you and have a pleasant day Thank you.